these things are just unreal, but um, so much so actually that I'm going to use this for this little demonstration. This five wood that I tried earlier, I just think it's incredible. You just cannot put it down. I can't put it down. I haven't missed a fairway yet either, which is quite impressive. Um, so what we're we doing? We're going to look at draw versus fade. Yeah. How do we hit a draw? How do we hit a fade? Two aspects. Firstly, how do you do it as a golfer? Yeah. And secondly, does that translate into facts uh, within Trackman? Okay. So the first one we're going to look at is draw. Okay. So target line, um, target today is that 200 yard marker. I don't know if you can get that in the camera, Garrett. Um, but it's at the end of the driving range. Um, I try and simplify it for me. Um, I don't want to have too many swing thoughts in my head. So what I would do is I would set up to the, to the target as normal. And then all I would do is simply just drop my right foot back an inch. Maybe two inches if you really want to hook it. So what does that change? It makes me close to target, yeah. which basically means my body is now looking right at the target. Yep. Um, and that allows me to really commit to the ball and try and generate that right to left turn in the ball. Okay. Do you want to see a demonstration? <laughs> Have a go. Let's see what happens. We'll give it a go. Well, we know that anything could happen. Absolutely. We don't know what's going to happen here. Then. I'll tell you what. It's That's a subtle draw. Pretty it? close. For the first attempt. It's a subtle draw. No. There was a bit of a wind out there today, to be fair. Left to right. We need to see a few things on track, man, for that ball to draw. We need to see a path, which is right of target, which that is, it's 4.9. We need to see a club face, which is closed to that path, which it is, but nearly, nearly six. Trackman is actually able to measure the curve in feet. Uh, in this instance, it was 19 feet left. And just about, the ball has to start right of target. Now, not only does it have to start right of target, but it also has to finish as close to target as possible. It's finished just less than five yards left, but um, we'll there, me. there's the ball fight. Looks like a draw to me. Yeah. Good. I'm impressed. Thank you, mate. So far, so good. No. <laughs> Let's go for fade. So what are you going to do differently? Complete opposite is what I was saying earlier. So again, I would just set up to the, uh, as normal to target. I would then put my right foot slightly forward to target, which now makes me left of target. With your um, body alignment, yeah. And just swing normally, you know, um, when I'm drawing the ball, I would, you know, commit and try and turn the hands over slightly more. Do you feel like you turn your body more when you try to fade it? Or not? Uh, no. Okay. I just the draw, I'm really trying to get everything turning. With a fade, you can hold it up a little bit more, personally. Let's, be correct, but let's see that small fade. Small fade? Well, I'll just fade it. <laughs> That's pretty good there. He hasn't done it first time on both attempts, has he? So, what we need to see, okay, is a left path. Now, on this instance here, the face is slightly closed to the path, but not very much. It's enough in order to curve that ball by a small amount to the right, and the ball has launched left. Now, let's look. It's finished pretty much on target again. It's impressive. And look at that ball flight there. Nice small fade on the target. I think that's a well done. Isn't it? Yeah. Should you go one step further? What do you want to do? Straight? Straight? Uh huh. I'm really quite confident. I just hit two in a row. Should no, really come go? on. I think I should just stop it there. I think we should Straight. try it. I think we should try it. So, right, okay. You know, and this can, will be interesting. We can always delete this part. This we? will be interesting. How do you hit it straight, Simon? Well, just. <laughs> <laughs> I hit the target and hope for the best, basically. Okay, just hope for the best. There you go. <laughs> Good advice. Nothing, you know, don't change your feet, just feel like you're comfortably aiming at the target and just really commit to it. So, I'll tell you why that could be straight, mate. That could be straight. We're looking for a zero curve, basically. Oh. And uh, I'm not so sure that is. Nope. Oh. So that looks like another fade, like you like to do all the well, time. Well, to be fair, there is that wind out there, buddy. I actually think you're going to put that golf club in your bag. I think so. I think so. Um, 
I'm a bit of a brand guy and I've always wanted the best of the best and actually you shop around a little bit and you can find stuff that is as good if not better you know, so for me. The next time you're at the driving range, by the way we open on Friday again, um, instead of just hitting ball after ball, try to ship a few shots left yeah. to right, right to left and uh, practice from there. Absolutely, good drills. Cheers mates.